This Python challenge is called Python division. Today, we're going to look at integer divisions and float divisions. In this challenge, they are giving us two values, numeric values, A and B. So they collect that by getting user inputs. And we need to add some logic to print two lines. The first line should contain the results of the integer division, A divided by B. But notice that here we are using double forward slashes. We use this when we want to get the integer parts of a division. For example, 3 divided by 5 is 0.6 but we only want to get the integer parts and not the fractional or decimal parts. So we only want to get zero and that's what we are doing here. So we use the double forward slash. And if we want to get a float division, meaning we want to get the decimal part, the digits after the decimal points, then we can use a normal division symbol. So this will give us the full result 0.6. This is how you can solve this challenge. I'm giving you two methods, but first let's look at method one. Method two here is currently commented out. So here I have the print methods, then I have A divided by B, but this here is the integer division. And then on a new line, I am printing A divided by B as a float division. When I run this code, I get the result that I expect. Four divided by three is this long number here. But if I only want to get the integer parts, which is one, I use this double forward slash and I get only the results one. Now you don't have to use two print statements to print these on different lines. You can have a single print statement and use the format string method to format this string appropriately. So this is how you can do it. You have print right here, and then in here you have a string and that string has two placeholders. So the first placeholder is this one and the second one is this one. We define placeholders by having curly brackets inside of strings. And then this here is the new line character, meaning that after we evaluate this, then we go to a new line. And on that next line, we print this one after it gets evaluated. So how do we evaluate and replace these placeholders? We use the format method. And then as the first argument here, I am passing the value that I want to replace here. And as the second argument, I pass the second value that I want to put in here to replace the second placeholder. If I wanted to print three values, then I would have a third placeholder and a third argument right here. But for this challenge, we only have two. So that's how you can do it. Let's run this code to make sure that we can still pass the test case. And we just did. So I'm now going to submit. It doesn't matter which one of these I submit because they behave the same. But we've passed the two test cases. So that's it for Python division. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.